हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैलकुलस एंड मैथमेटिक्स लर्निंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन दैट हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी सॉल्व एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन थ्रू टू मेथड्स फैक्टराइजेशन क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला एंड कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर दैट वी ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन एक्सरसाइज 1.1 Today's we are going to start exercise number 1.2. 1.1 has uh, already uh, completed. We are going to start 1.2. The quest, first question is x power 5, x power 4 minus 5x square plus 6 is equal to 0. This equation is quadratic equation because the highest power of the variable x is 4. So this type of quadratic equation is not solved very easily. We reduce this type of quadratic equation to quadratic equation by making some substitution. Let x square is equal to y. Scaling this equation, we will get x power four is equal to y square. So if we put these two values in the given quadratic equation, the quadratic equation equation will reduce to the given quadratic equations. So x power four put x power four is equal to y square in this equation. Y square minus five x square value is y. Plus six is equal to zero. Up now, this equation is reduced to quadratic equation. Now we solve it to factorization method. Y square minus two y minus three y plus six is equal to zero. If we add this minus three y and minus two y, it gives us minus five y. And if we multiply minus three and minus two, it gives us six y square. Now in this step, we are going to <coughs> take out y common from y square minus 2y so inside we are left with my and minus 2 and here if we take minus 3 common we are left with y minus 2 is equal to 0 by zero factor property we have two solution here either y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0 so shift this minus 2 to the right hand side we get y is equal to 2 and here shift minus 3 to the <coughs> right hand side we Get y is equal to three, but we are not interesting in the value of y because the given equation is in the variable x, not in the variable y. So we putting these two values in the given substitution. X square is equal to y. X square is equal to y. So put the value of y. Uh, put the value of uh, y is equal to two plus here. So x square is equal to y is two. So square is cancel out with under root two. We are taking plus minus here because the highest power is two, so plus minus will be taken here. This two is cancelled out with under root, so x is equal to plus minus under root two. These two solution, and now the highest power is four, so the solution must be must be should be four. So is this two solution? Put y is equal to three here. X square is equal to y. So x square is equal to y is a uh, three. So put here. How can we uh, eliminate this? To power by making uh, by taking under root to the both side. So x square will cancel out under root and x is equal to plus minus under root of three. So the solution set will be plus minus under root of two and plus minus under root of three. So there are four solution plus under root two minus under root two plus under root three minus under root three. So this is the required solution of the given quadratic equation. Now we are going. To solve another question related to the exercise 1.2, but that question is in the form of exponential form. Let's take an example: 3 power x plus 1 plus 3 power minus x plus 3 is equal to 10. How to solve this type of exponential function through the Help of a quadratic equation, we can solve this type of question very easily. Let's solution. We can also write three power x plus one just like this: three power x dot three power one, applying the property. And here we also applying the same property. So we are three power minus x and three power three is equal to ten. Three will uh, comes to the coefficient of three power x, so it becomes three power three power. 3 dot 3 power x plus, and here 3 power 3 gives us 27, so it comes to the coefficient of 3 power minus x. So 27 dot 3 power minus x is equal to 
Now we are going to making some substitution for the easiness of solving this type of equation. Let 3 power x is equal to z. Then reciprocating the both sides of the equation, we are left with 1 over z and here it will 3 power minus x. The sign of the x will change here. Put these two values in this equation. So 3 dot 3 power x is equal to z plus 27 dot 3 power minus x is equal to 1 over z is equal to 10. Eliminate this z by multiplying both sides z. So this z will multiply with this z and gives us 3z square. This z will cancel out with this z and gives us 27. And here it will give us 10z. This 10z will come here. So the sign will change from plus to negative. 3z square minus 10z plus 27 is equal to 0. Here we can solve this type of quadratic equation through the method of completing square, either completing the square, either quadratic formula. We apply the quadratic formula here. Z is equal to negative B plus minus under root of B square minus 4 A and C whole divided by 2 A. So z is equal to minus minus plus 10 plus minus under root of minus 10 square gives us 100 and we multiply minus 4 with 3 so it gives us 12 and multiply with 27. 7 2s are 41, 7 1s are 7 and 1 8, 8 0 2 2s are 4 and here it 2. So 4 8 plus 4 12 3. It gives us 3 2 4 so minus 3 2 4 divided by 2 into 3 6. So so z is equal to 10 plus minus under root of subtract 100 and minus 324 it gives us minus 224 whole divided by 6. So z is equal to 10 plus minus under root of 224. This negative under root minus 1 we also write it as minus under root 1 which is equal to iota. So here we directly put the value of under root minus 1 is equal to iota divided by 6. We making the prime factorization of 224 here. 224, so 2 into 1, 1, 2, 2, 5, and uh, 6, so 2, 2, and uh, 8, 2, 14, and uh, 2, 7, and 7, 1. So 2 power 2, 2 power 2. It uh, gives us uh, z is equal to 10 plus minus under root of uh, 2 power 2 multiply 2 power 2. And this 2 multiply with uh, 7, so it gives us 14 iota divided by 6. So z is equal to 10 plus minus so under root of uh, this 2 will cancel out with under root, this 2 will cancel out under root. So it uh, 2 multiply 2 will come out by uh, outside, uh, it gives us 4 uh, and under root of 14 iota divided by 6. So I am solving it uh, above. So for uh, we common here 2 so z is equal to 2 into 10 plus minus so 2 14 iota divided by we can also write uh, 6 is in the form of 2 cross 3 so this 2 is cancelled out with this 2 and z value is 10 plus minus 2 under root of 14 iota divided by 3 you know that the, uh, we are not actually interesting in the value of z because the given question is in the form of variable x we are putting the value of z back in the given substitution. So 3 power x is equal to z plus minus 2 under root 14. 14 iota divided by 3. This x will come out to the coefficient of 3 if we apply log to the both side. Applying log 3 power x is equal to log of 10 plus minus 2 14 iota divided by 3 x will come uh, comes to the coefficient of log x according to the property of log so x log 3 is equal to log of uh, 10 plus minus 2 14 iota here applying the property minus log of uh, 3 dividing with log of 3 to find the value of x so, so x is equal to log of uh, 10 plus minus 2 under root of 14 
iota minus log of 3 whole divided by log of 3. So this is the required solution of the given 